Before we get started, guys, I do want to send a special shout out to my Patreon supporters uh, for making this video possible. What's up guys, it's Charles here with Rocket Punch Army. It feels like a minute since I've done a review because uh, it has been actually hours, maybe weeks, months since I lasted my review. But I'm back. As always, I always come back. I leave and I come back like a horrible boyfriend. Um, I got with me today here the mini action series uh, Combatler. I honestly didn't want to uh, jump into this series. Like I've been really trying to focus everything just so I can have... And not only money for reviews, but um, you know, just so I don't end up with a bunch of stuff. I have way too much stuff. But it's Combatler V. I love it. Uh, I just want to at least show you guys this. Probably going to end up selling it. There's no die cast, so stuff like that's not really interesting me anymore. But I do like the fact that they made a new Combatler V figure. Uh, and this comes from Action Toys, so I, I kind of like or, and dig their stuff. And the fact that it comes apart. So when I first saw this, I was thinking about those Yamato, I forgot what they're called. The GNU, DOUs or whatever, GNU DUs. Uh, and it reminded me of that. Although after playing with this, I realized, uh, even though they're similar in the, the sense of the plastic thing, they're really not the same. But this is almost like a, you can think of this as a plastic um, a super robot Chogoking, but th that actually combines. Right? you got the little reflective little sticker here. Uh, anyway, we're going to get in here. Uh, I've actually already gotten in there. Uh, this is the tray. Obviously, everything's taken out because I'm going to show you guys the figure in a second. There's a couple of accessories. This is really dusty. Wow. Shows you how long ago I've gotten this. Uh, some uh, spare hands here. But uh, where is the figure? It's somewhere around here. And here he is, guys. Uh, I had him chilling with the uh, DX Combat LV, which, by the way, is a beautiful figure. I just happen to have a smallish Chogokin here, a uh, solo Chogokin, uh, Zabungle, okay? So these guys are already small, so you can kind of, you know, uh, see how they compare. Um, so even though this guy's plastic, I love the details. I love the paint. It feels good. I mean, you can see it's not the tightest figure, but it's not the loosest either. I mean, it's not too bad. Um, I, I thought it was going to feel like a little model kit. It really doesn't. I mean, it does feel like a figure, but, you know, the whole plasticky thing makes it feel a little bit more delicate than it probably should be. But, I, you know, if you have it in hand, I don't even know what I'm trying to spit out. It's late and I'm tired. But if you have it in hand, you'll, you'll feel that it is a good figure. These run about, what, $45? Which I think is a lot for a little plastic figure. Uh, one thing I don't like about mine is that if I close one side, the other side pops up. You can see that right here. I can't get both of them to go down the same amount. It's probably something I have mistransformed on the inside. But before I get into this uh, figure, we're going to take them apart into the ships. I should have done that before. And, you know, talk a little bit about that. All right, so I've taken it apart uh, into the ships. Uh, it's a typical Japanese weird ships that they, like, force them to come apart and sort of want to look like ships. You got the, of course, the tank tread one with the grappling, not grappling, but it's got the shovels, but other, sometimes they have grappling hands. You got the weird jet, then you have the other jets, the little head, of course, and of, and of course the feet. So this is a battle jet, the little head guy, and the battle crusher, can't see, blocking my view, this guy. Also on this one, I had to edit this because I forgot that part, but uh, you can see, you can add little uh, wheels not really the best fitting things I mean they stay on but they go on like this oh that actually it fell off but basically just bring them on right in here squeeze them in and let's get this one back on just like that all right and the battle tank is obviously the little tank and the battle marine is this one and then battlecraft which is back here the feet so honestly the design is a bit shit but, you know, it's still cool. You know, this is stuff uh, I grew up with. So, very cool nonetheless. But, um, yeah, so let's show you this little guy first. As you can see, there's nothing much. Okay. So, nothing much to it. It's literally just his head with the neck squished in. 
there's no little panels to cover up his face or anything like that do have to be careful the antennas these are not the ones that they come extra with that you can plug in so be very careful and then we're going to take a look at this one again you know there's not much going on over here <laughs> these are kind of silly I like I like the idea of this being small uh, you know to be able to have small robots but again you know the design is not that great and it's not I'm not just talking about the toy just in general I mean look at this you know it's just a weird looking ship uh, did we look no we didn't look at this this you do have to be careful it does have a little hands that come out for the claws uh, I keep calling them claws or the shovels I guess they could be claws right do they close they got a line in the middle I, I don't watch the anime but they are as you can see on pegs I like dropping stuff all the time but there's a little peg you can see that so goes right on that little arm just have to be careful you know don't break anything but yeah I'll put that on later but yeah just be careful it's got the arm but you can't really move it around it's got the treads they don't do anything there's no rubber around it's just molded and of course this little I don't know why this one's my favorite it's just like the weirdest looking ship you know they always got the feet with the rollers and the drills of course but um, overall nicely executed for its size we're gonna actually join them together if you've ever uh, or if you have any combat or toys it's pretty much straightforward I didn't even have to look at the instructions you know I'll probably forget something I'll double check but I mean it's pretty straightforward I'm not gonna go in the order of the anime or nothing I just want to show you guys how this this goes together but you obviously fold anything you can in I believe this has to be flipped around All right okay we're pretty much done we've got the legs then the feet literally just separate and bring in these little drills the little tabs and you got your feet there and this fold down the antennas of course as most combatlers uh, need you to do bring the treads around I like the silver paint on this it does give it a little metallic feel pretty much just have the torso done there then we have the upper body same thing just bring it down that's it it's done gotta bring these in though like that alright so that's done oh and the chest gotta bring the chest up and around just like that and then just join everything um, just snaps together again this there's really not much to do in here so I don't know what the deal is with this not wanting to snap in see what I mean just see the one side or the other it's kind of annoying so I don't see that in the promo pics and then this um, you know just pop it in just make sure you're not hitting anything it's just literally friction fit the feet I do want to point something out uh, and these you don't first of all when you put them in they just pop right in right so let's get those popped in and there's a warning label and thank God I read it they don't want you to just pull the feet out when you're gonna uh, remove from the leg area what they want you to do is bring them out to the side and pop them off just like this just so you guys know oops off camera just like that right and then just fish it out right so bring them to the side and out if you pull them straight down uh, according to the thing it can cause some damage so I'd like to just install them in the same manner just like on an angle and pop them in pretty sturdy once they're in there and they do have the ankle tilt which we'll get into in a second when we do the articulation you do have to however pop in the hands uh, they don't hide anywhere just regular pop in hands and these are plastic or PVC hands they are kind of hard with the PVC cups pop them in and then of course we got the head let me just move up here a little bit now the head does have a neck so you definitely want to put this in I don't know if the neck will pop out with the friction no I guess it won't but pull that out you get a little bit of a neck there and that's it you got the neck all right and then we're gonna check out some of the um, included accessories what we'll do now is uh, check out some of the articulation you kind of saw what the head does you got the neck looks all the way around you know it's just a standard ball joint going on there so pretty cool and you got the shoulders which on mine are like getting kind of loose like sometimes they just drop down there's not a, really a lot of friction I don't know if there's a way to tighten that I don't see any screws anywhere so probably one of those tricks that what is it the floor polish whatever that Gundam people use um, and you got the rotation which is that's firm but it's also on a peg like that PVC peg um, you got the which first of all 
elbows should be compressed. The art articulation on the elbows. If you want more articulation, you can actually pull them out and do this. All right, but it's supposed to be compressed in. Um, does it have? No, it doesn't have any uh, ab crunch, but it does have a little bit of a swivel. Obviously, everything back here gets in the way. You do want to be careful. These antennas are up when you're turning the waist. You risk bending them or snapping them off, but they are like a softish plastic, so not that big of a deal. The uh, legs do go up to here. You'll notice they start touching. As a matter of fact, I might even have some scuffs. I don't, yeah, you think the scuffs are from that, maybe, but yeah, definitely be careful. Anywhere where the silver paint's going to touch, you want to be careful. Already got scuffs. Um, rotation, not at the, uh, what do you call it, the hips, but you do have rotation on the knees. So you can get a nice little stance out of him. And the knees, you'll see, they're, they weren't this loose. I guess from playing around, it's getting loose. But um, the knee articulation only goes this far. You'll see there's a little piece, like, notched off to give you that full articulation up to there. Um, out to the side, same thing. It'll hit into this right here. But it gives you, I guess, decent. I mean, it depends what kind of poses you're looking for. Um... As far as bicep, you got biceps. Obviously, the hands are on a ball joint. Uh, when it comes to the ankles, can't rotate them, which is a bummer, but I don't really feel the need to have that there. But you do have ankle tilt, which is really cool the way it's built in. I really like that design. And then, obviously, this movement here. Figure looks really good. I must say, I'm impressed with the articulation that it has for its size, and it looks great. I mean, just take a look at that. As far as accessories, um, showed you guys this earlier, uh, the uh, thing, so it's a perfect transformate. As far as accessories, I did show you this earlier, right, that gets attached. That's not really an accessory, it's just a thing. But it does have his weapons. Uh, these are in separated form. You can put them in the hands with the included, uh, you know, weapon holding hand. But as you can see, the handle comes off, right, uh, so that you can use this one which allows you to have the full size. Okay, let's see if we can get this in here. All right, so you can hold it right in the middle. Pop this sucker in on that side, and then we'll see what it looks like on it. I do tend to suck a little bit at posing stuff. I can never get them looking cool. But as you can see, there's the other uh, alternate hand, which is the what, guys? The booby grabbing hand, of course. Well, that's what I like to think it is, but it's just an open hand here. You got the weapon holding hand. Let's take a look at this figure. I've yet to be able to buy a rotisserie uh, to put these things in a circle. What do they call this? The spinning display things. You got to see my hands. I used to have one of the gears popped off. Anyway, but here we are. The end of the review, guys. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. If you want to pick one of these up, there's a link in the description. So please check it out. Help helps support the channel so we can bring you more reviews. Uh, just so you know, I don't think I'm picking up any more of these. Uh, not in this, I'm not saying that it's... Um, bad line I'm just saying I've just I don't know I want to look into heavier stuff I want to save uh, the budget for the really cool stuff speaking of really cool stuff I got some uh, pose figures coming in so definitely stay tuned for that it's gonna be really cool if you know what I'm talking about the pose plus try and guess which one's the next review for that and um, that's it guys if you want to support the channel there's also a patreon link below that's in case you guys want to just contribute to uh, you know the um, subject matter here and keeping the channel going and uh, that's it until next time guys bye bye